Introducing Shade Fin by Taco Marine. Shade Fin is a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Its five foot by six foot footprint and 50 plus UPF rating protect you from the sun so you can enjoy the water longer while doing what you love. Learn more about Shade Fin on tacomarine.com. Shade Fin, shadow in seconds. Hi everyone, I'm Captain Mark Henderson with Taco Marine and the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install your shade fin using the fixed rod holder mount, how to clean it, and how to replace the fabric. Shade fin is an innovative, lightweight, and portable shade system that fits almost any boat. Every shade fin kit comes with a shade fin, a protective sleeve carrying case, and with or without a fixed rod holder mount. Before we get started, it's imperative to know that if you're going to install the shade fin in a rod holder, make sure that it's welded securely to your T-top or your frame system on your boat. If you're not sure, we recommend that you talk to a reputable fabricator in your area. First thing is to remove the shade fin and the fixed rod holder mount from the packaging and its carry case. A couple of features I want to show you on the fixed rod holder mount. One, the gimbal end, which is a threaded rod that goes down in through the rod holder and around the gimbal pin for security. Secondly, we have an open end with a groove that receives the shade fin mounting pin. It directs and leads the shade fin right into the fixed rod holder mount. Third, we have a sliding beveled wedge that fills the area in a rod holder once the unit is put into the rod holder. Finally, once it's through the rod holder, we also have this cool nut that goes right onto the gimbal end and wedges up tight to the rod holder mount itself. Let me show you how this works. Once the beveled wedge is slid down into it, the nuts tighten, there's no movement whatsoever in the fixed rod holder mount. Shade fin's ready to attach and provide shadow in seconds. Next, when sliding the shade fin into the fixed rod holder mount, you need to depress the locking pin slide it in place, and this guide pin will slide right in, lock in place, and you're ready to deploy the shade fin. Shade fin has four different arms that need to be extended. Let's start with the two at the base of the product. Reach up, find the release button, pull down, extend one arm, go to the other side, pull down on the release button, extend the second arm. Notice you don't extend the arms all the way just yet. Next, what you want to do is pull out this fabric that's tucked into the body, pull it out loosely, and it's going to flop, flop around a little bit. But you want to find the pockets, put them right into these front arms, begin extending them. And extend them all the way out. The fabric will follow. We're getting closer to installation. Now that the front arms are extended and it's securely fastened into the pockets of the fabric on the corners, all we do is go back to the base and extend the back arms to make it secure. All you do now is simply take the back arms and lock them in place. Make sure they pop. Shade fin installation is really that simple. When cleaning your shade fin, we recommend using only fresh water 
and a light mild soap. When you get back in from your day on the water, you wanna make sure that you take your hose, rinse off all over the shade fin, underside, outside, underneath, that way you can make sure that all of the dirt, the debris, or the salt that might have been collected through the day is gone. You want us to take good care of the product. And then you can use a soft bristled brush to go over the material lightly. And as you're doing it, making sure that all of the dirt, debris, salt, is taken care of. Once you've gone over the shade thin with the mild soap, light bristle brush, you want to make a nice gentle spray of all the areas and make sure that all of the soap has been removed from the material before it's set out to dry. One thing I do like to do with the adjustable rod holder mount, it makes it really easy to put it in the gunnel, adjust it so you can get right to it and control everything with the cleaning. It's easy to dry, sun gets to it well, and when you pack it and stow it, it's very, very simple. Once you've completed the wash and the rinse down, make sure that it sits here and it dries completely before stowing it. Once you stow it, put it in its carry case, put it in a hatch or your garage, you'll be ready for the next day on the water with no troubles. Take care of it and it'll take care of you. Hi everyone, I'm Captain Mark Henderson with Taco Marine and the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. I'd really like to show you today just how easy it is to replace the shade fin fabric in case you ever want to change colors. All it takes is two Allen wrenches, one's a 9 64ths and one's a 5 30 seconds. It's a real simple process to where all you do is release six total bolts and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. With the 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, all you do is the top four bolts, you take them right out of this molded cover. You want to take your 9 64 Allen wrench right here and the very tips of the front arms hold the ferrule tight. At this point, all you have to do is release the fabric from the front arms that go right down through these fabric channels. Notice the orientation of the fabric. Notice the orientation of the reinforcement strip is facing up. It also has two stainless steel grommets. All you do is remove those. And then you simply pull the fabric off of the arms. Now that you've successfully removed the fabric, you want to take the new fabric and reinstall in a reverse fashion that you just took it apart. You would take the forward facing arms, place it in the pockets and the channels of the fabric, over top of the back arms, placing each one of the channels and fabric, the tips of the arms right into these, and then you simply chase it up to the front of the shade fin. And so all you do is really repeat the process. You take the ferrule, your bolt's already in the front arm. Simply place the ferrule in place right here through the stainless steel grommet. Take your 964 Allen wrench, reinstall the bolt. Make sure it's tight. Repeat the other side.
The next part of the process, once you've secured the ferrules and the bolts and the front arms, is to take the front part of the fabric, lay it over the back part of the shade fin, bring the reinforcement strips with the stainless steel grommets, have the post go right through the holes, and set it to where you can put the molded cover right back on. At this point, I've gotten my molded cover with all of my bolts still intact, never remove those, put them all in one piece, comes back all in one piece. So folks, it's really that simple. Six bolts, a new fabric, put the cover back on, and you're ready to get back on the water. Folks, thank you so much. I've enjoyed the time. I'm Captain Mark Henderson with Taco Marine and the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. Visit us at tacomarine.com and know that Shade Fin provides shadow in seconds. See you again soon. The CCA workbench is where the new products happen every week, and guess what? It's time for that part of the show, right, Dave? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So gonna, where are we going to go? Well, we're going to start off with the Shade Fin from Taco Marine. Right. Uh, it's a really cool thing they got. Now they call it the Shade in, uh, in Seconds. Shade in seconds. Shade in seconds. You put it up and boom, you got shade. So we got a video. Let's show Correct. everybody what we're talking about. Correct. You can put that shade up on your T-top. It fits in a rod holder. They got all kinds of little uh, gadgets you can hook it to so, so you can put it wherever you want to on the boat. It's got SPF 50 rating, uh, nice weather resistant fabric that it's made of. Comes in a nice case and it's also made out of anodized aluminum. So it, all the all the working parts so it's not going to fall apart on you. Yeah, not gonna corrode and no. and all that stuff. You know, the cool part I like about it is, you know, Dave, in a lot of bay boat applications, guys don't order T-tops. Right. And as you can tell here and in the studio- You have a portable one. Yeah, we have a, <laughs> it collapses down. It can certainly go into the rod tube, yep. or I mean, or locking rod locker. Right, it only weighs 12 pounds. And we've put this one on the back of the Pathfinder over there using uh, just one of their rod holders. Right, five by six area that it, you know, that it covers. And you know, you get that thing, you sit behind that, that could be a game, game changer for you on a boat with no T-top. Absolutely. It really could. Absolutely. It'd save your life. And they have some accessories to, to, to make it adjust for different boat heights right. and stuff like that. Right, right. TacoMarine.com.